all this money on a couch for with a washable cover because we're gross. She just did a thing with her eye and I swear to God, I was gonna have to catch it. I thought it was coming out. All right, let's get started with some painting. I am going to be painting the couch pieces today with this in ultra white. painting project which wasn't what I had planned to do this week indoors we're in a bit of a pickle because we're on our way to Florida now and we've come to find out that the trailer parking at the place where we're going is for boat trailers so you could pay a fee a small fee and have your boat trailer parked at the facility an RV would have been $3,000 I think they quoted us for the week even if we weren't going to stay in it and we weren't we have other accommodations but we wanted to bring our business and our house and everything and then explore Florida I wanted to do like a fan boat ride and some paddling and a whole bunch of other exciting stuff that I've never done because I've never really explored Florida that much so we've gone north instead of south towards Florida we've pivoted to put this Airstream into a campground sort of near where we store dreamboat because when we come back from florida dreamboat is our next activity which is why the couch is all blown apart <laughs> so we have a bit of a nasty habit of getting some projects to like 80 percent done back to functional but not done done pretty or finished so we had a couple days here where we are going to try to aggressively finish a couple things um and actually get the frosting on it versus leaving it half done well we're not at a beach in sunny florida so we might as well be productive but i don't want to blow up anything too big because we don't we have no, a short we're window only gonna get that half done if we start anything huge so yeah. <laughs> All this money on a couch for with a washable cover because we're gross. She just did a thing with her eye and I swear to God I was going to have to catch it. Like I thought it was just... I'm so mad. I thought it was coming out. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I apologized. Uh, I did. Sincerely felt bad. Before I show you this mistake, I do want to preface it by saying I am still married, um, but I made a pretty huge mistake with the installation of the couch. Um, this bolt here that goes through the cover, apparently I didn't have to do that, and there was some miscommunication about exactly how I should do the hardware on the couch. It turns out with the... Miscommunication. What? Mis miscommunication. Oh, I... The couch should cover should be removable so you can wash it. Um, not with bolts through it. I, I put four bolts through it. So I, I'm going to fix that. And I'm still sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still sorry. Dude. I'm still sorry. Who does that? I, mistakes were made. Just give this a little spruce up. It's the only thing in the ceiling that we haven't actually replaced, and it had that discolored fiberglass look to it. And I really just kind of wanted to brighten it up because it was really showing its age. Still needs another coat, but yeah. I'll be able to do it while it's up there. It's whiter, blends in with the... The other whites, although it's still dingy right now. It needs more white, but... I'll get to it. It started. So I'm considering painting all of the smooth curved upper lockers white and leaving all the lower cabinets that are like this 
and the pantry and that kind of stuff and the walls over there tan um i think the real wood doors will take the paint okay but i'm kind of i'm kind of afraid that i won't like it or it won't wear well so if you've done anything like that drop a comment below and let me know how it went for you guys and what do you think just keep it wood or go white on just the smooth curved upper lockers. I really should put my hair up for this, but yeah. Are you ready for me outside? Um, just about, almost. Okay. I'm prepping the uh, propane area now. 